Hello, this is Old Crow Belzer, and welcome to Belzer Strategic Arcana. So I have to announce, I uh, I don't know what happened, but my recording software did a glitch and showed I was recording my term, uh, Confederate term 34, which I think was March 15th, 1863. It was a long term, too. So I'll just give a brief synopsis. Uh, my army of, of uh, Northern Virginia attacked attacked the Union here and I did significant damage to him. He's uh, encroaching on me hard. Uh, so that was under General Lee and I counterattacked many, many different places. I even got into his artillery again. So uh, I think the Union's gonna be reeling, but I did extend myself out out of desperation. Uh, the Colonel had also landed in Savannah and uh, I, I, and he had transports and I was able to get a gunboat in and damage, severely damage one of his, and shell it with the fort one of his transports that was in the port that's uh has it's a zero strength port he managed to get one marine in there to take the city though but it's on its own i also got a monitor down there and i'm tangling with another there's another transport that's out see he ain't going to be able to get in and land <clears throat> i don't think so uh so yeah big things going on over here uh there's two armies coming down union armies coming down to kentucky down right through here and right through here. So uh, Jackson, I had to do some maneuvering and I, I'm pulling back to concentrate my army because I'm gonna lash out one of these wings that he's got. Uh, now it, it, it was in March, so I had a lot of mud there. And uh, we did have some, he, the Colonel attacked in snow and I counterattacked it, quit snowing. Uh, it wasn't mud either. Uh, so I was able to move. Over here though, uh, I had to pull back. I'm too far exposed. And like I said, he's coming in from this direction here and here. So I've concentrated my units in an arc around here. I've got uh, three generals over there. I got, and then, uh, and then of course I'm holding here Western Kentucky against Paducah. Over here in Arkansas, I got a small little force. I was able to take uh, uh, Fort or Port Gordo. It's not actually a port, but there's a town right here opposite the Mississippi behind Cairo, just over brigade. But uh, I am getting working my way here. Uh, over here with Price and uh, Stan Waddy. Well, we, um, we're we in a big arc here and he's brought a division down. So I might have overextended myself. So I might pull back a little bit. Uh, that's that's what we're gonna do. Uh, down here we had some fights going on again with monitors and stuff. It's crazy crazy fights, man. Uh, this gunboat uh, had a damaged monitor that, that got back in the port. Pensacola. Yeah, I have a monitor here uh, operating, trying to get back to Mobile, and I got one I repaired here in Mobile itself. He has still got two engineers over here, <clears throat> not engineers, I mean Marines, and I've got it covered, so I don't know what he's intending to do here, if he's going to try to invade Texas to try to, it's, that's a fool's errand, but if he does it, I'll actually be happy, I'll withdraw. Over here, I'm still holding El Paso. Uh, and I did buy some more divisions. I've only got two divisions left in the pool to buy. So I'm going to buy up all my divisions. Uh, I did get some big hits on research, but I can't build any more cores yet because I, uh, it's the way it is. But my divisions, my divisions that I have are pretty lethal. However, I will have to buy cores. I'm going to have to get cores over here because he's going big over here. I can't. I, he's going to try to grind me down. His national morale, though, is down to 72%. Mine is at 99 So, uh, So, yeah, I've got some long-term strategies going. I don't know if it's going to work, but he's he's starting to nibble on my coast finally. But it's Savannah, right? It already wasn't, I wasn't getting any money in there. And I, I think I've got a total of, I, well, it's like 1,200 MPP plus. Uh, the convoy routes out mobile in uh, New Orleans, there's there's no ships on them at all. I've cleared them, and I'm not really worried about invasion, and I will be bringing more ships in. So anyway, uh, I apologize again. I Just as I finished that long turn, uh, all of a sudden I, I saw a glitch, and uh, I, I don't know. I, it said I was recording, and then it said I wasn't recording, and I went, what? So I got out, and I recorded like 33 seconds of it. So I the whole turn and it was about 40 minutes so because there was a lot going on so anyway uh hopefully next turn you'll be able to see what i've done uh we'll see what he's done but again he suffered another massive defeat here in virginia and he's going to try to crush me here in western kentucky he may very well succeed because he's got cores 
coming and all I've got are divisions but I do got top general so there's that all right so Zill Crow Balzer again uh, thanks for following this series and uh, at least I haven't had too many mess ups I've had a few before in the past of other series but this is the first for this one so oh well what can I say? Well, we'll see you on the virtual battlefields. I am gone. Again, thanks, guys, for following this series. It's pretty epic. We're going to try to get it surviving in 1864. We'll see. Or when. Win the war. See you later. I am gone.